Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today, hands-on, we're going to be giving you a one-on-one -on -one tour of the brand new Sager NP8290. The NP8290 is a 17.3 inch gaming laptop with the brand new Intel Haswell refresh. We have a lot of interesting features and great hardware on here. First of all, up front we have our fingerprint scanner and also an illuminated touchpad. With the lights turned down, you can see much more easily that the touchpad itself is illuminated, so you can find it easily in the dark. And of course, right up above it, the keyboard is also fully illuminated. Starting the touring of the unit, up above the keyboard is your control bar. On the right hand side of that control bar is your illuminated power button. Towards the center you have an LED readout, we'll show you this a little bit later. And to the far left side you have all your status LEDs and also the branding for your speaker system. Now going back over the keyboard you do see that you have some media functions such as play pause. On the right hand side you have functions to control things such as your keyboard backlight brightness. The palm rest area is going to be a rubberized coating so this entire palm rest area is very comfortable on the hands. Your LCD screen is a full 1080p high definition LED backlit matte type and up above that you have your webcam and of course your built-in microphone. Now for a broader view of the unit, just a little bit of a turning around so you can get a good feel for the way that the unit looks and its size and dimensions. That rubberized coating finish that we told you about on the palm rest area also is on the back of the LCD lid. This makes it easy to hold on to the laptop as you're placing it into and taking out of your bag. All in all, everything comes together nicely for a very clean presentation. Now it's time to move in closer for a full inspection of all of our input and output interfaces. On the front of the machine, it's pretty clean other than your status LEDs. As you move to the right hand side of things, you're going to find your optical drive with a dedicated eject button and a total of four audio ports, your standard headphone connection and microphone input, followed by an SPDIF output, a line in, and a standard USB 2.0 port. As we make it around to the rear part of the system, the first thing you'll find is your Kenningston lock port, immediately followed by a large opening. This is for your GPU cooling, the display port connection, followed by the HDMI connection, and then a mini display port connection, the DC power input, and then the next vent is for your CPU cooling system. And now as we make it around to the left hand side, we have a few connections here as well. The first one is FireWire, then you have your wired internet connection, two USB 3.0 ports, a combo eSATA USB 3.0 port, and a 9-in-1 card reader. And now to showcase the center area of the control bar that we talked about at the very beginning of the video. This is a sound activated readout of all of the sound coming from your laptop. And now to move into the Windows Device Manager to showcase all of the hardware that we're running. Of course we have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780 mobile and we have the Intel Haswell i7 CPU. This is a pretty high-end configuration but of course you can set up your laptop to meet your personal needs and configure it however you would like. And of course the last thing we have here for those interested is the monitor panel. Using the hardware that we just showed you, we have a 3D Mark Vantage score of performance 26,822. Here is our CPU-Z information on the GPU. Of course, we have a full 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM on that video card. And next to it, the CPU-Z information on the CPU. 
Outside of the actual performance score of the benchmark, the next thing that's always the most important thing to note are the temperatures of your system. As you can see, the maximum temperature of our CPU was about 80 degrees Celsius, which is not bad at all. And then as we get lower and we get to the video card temperatures, you can see that we reached a maximum temperature of 78 degrees Celsius, which is also very good. And now for the next benchmark to feature, that's going to be 3 Mark 11. And on this benchmark, we managed to get a performance score of 7,908. Of course, we're running the same laptop with all the same hardware as before. Over on the temperatures for this benchmark, despite it being more difficult, our temperatures did remain about the same. The CPU is still running about 80 degrees Celsius max, and the GPU at 78 degrees Celsius max. So despite all of the load on the system, our temperatures are still looking really great. And now for the last thing to see in the laptop is going to be the bottom part of it, and of course the insides of it. Okay, we'll start things off by pulling out the optical drive slightly to show you one of the secondary hard drive bays. So you can hold two hard drives in this computer, of course, and then you put your optical drive over the top of that secondary one. This is where your primary hard drive is located. Up above that, we're going to have a space where we can put RAM. This system holds up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. And then we have a micro SATA SSD slot. Up above your micro SATA slot, the first of your major cooling fans, followed by the other cooling fan on the other side. Of course, this is a dual fan system, one for your CPU and one for your GPU. And here is a dedicated subwoofer. That's part of your sound system, of course. To continue with the disassembly of the unit, from the top side, we're going to take off the control bar. And this is going to allow you to undo the keyboard. Once you uplift your keyboard, you're going to find this is where you have some of your hidden RAM slots. Being that these are the RAM slots that already come with RAM configured inside of them, it makes it easy for you to add RAM to the ones on the bottom. And next to that is your combo Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. And now the last thing for us to showcase today is going to be the weight of the unit. If you travel with just the laptop and battery itself, you're at 8 pounds and 8 ounces. And if you add in the power adapter as well, you're at 10 pounds and 13 ounces. It's a pretty beefy laptop with a lot of beefy hardware, but we don't think the weight is unmanageable. And that, everybody, is going to conclude the showcase for the Sager NP8290. We hope that you enjoyed the showcase video and that you found it both entertaining and educational. If you'd like to learn more about the 8290 or if you'd like to own one, then go ahead and check out our website, gentechpc.com. There we have the current pricing and availability, full system specs, pictures, videos, and more. So in closing, remember that we're always here to help you if you need assistance by phone or email. We hope you enjoyed our video, and this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.